Hi everyone! Welcome back to Mojo's Money. My name is Lacey and on this channel we talk about cash stuffing, budgeting, sinking funds, paying down my mortgage, savings challenges, etc. And today I have the cash from, I have $640 from the second paycheck of March 2023. <laughs> what year is it? Okay. So, <laughs> oh and I did my nails guys. Woo! Yeah. Obviously, they're home done, but they were for St. Patrick's Day. It was super fun. That was yesterday. I was going, I tried to film this Thursday and I tried to film this yesterday, but today is Saturday morning and it is getting filmed finally. And I have my coffee with my little, if you're wondering what's in it, it's cinnamon. I have my sword quick. I have my cash and we're, we're going to do this thing. Let's go. These are my binders, my high and low-er-ish priority, <laughs> high and medium, because I have another thing of low priority sinking funds, but anyways put these up here for now and first of all I have my spreadsheet with my columns for what I'm stuffing today as well as my little columns over here for my 80 envelope challenge so let me zoom in so we can talk about it more in depth because we have we have some stuff to talk about y'all oh here we are okay so $640 total, very much at the bottom. Let me move this up a little. There you go. For our total available cash that we are stuffing today. Over here on the right hand side are the envelopes that the random number generator picked for me this week. As well as I have an extra 10 if you saw my last video. This 10 that I wrote in right here is going towards my emergency fund because I got this from selling some jeans at a uh, local thr um, resale consignment type shop. So I've got 230 going to the 80 envelope challenge. The new car Orlando and remodel all got $45, yay. Mortgage is getting extra this time because my electric bill was super low, only about $47, so I put some extra towards that and towards the solar panels. So it's getting 60 Christmas as usual, 75 veterinary, 10 certification exam, 25 and then investment property. I had a little extra, so I went with 40 for that. Then fives down here, except for clothing, which is getting 30 because of that um, savings challenge that I'm doing for that. My colorable. Let's go down here. We gotta talk about this. Oh, coffee's in the way. Hold up. Oh, there's my cash breakdown. And here, okay, the saddest thing on this paper. From here to here. So, if you'll see solar panels over here. Let's just, let me just get my coffee, y'all. Hold up, sip, sip. Okay, we'll bring me a piece this morning, I hope. <laughs> so, when you purchase solar panels, you have a certain interest and payment amount that you agree upon. However, if after the first year and you get your solar income tax credit, if you do not pay that amount, which is supposed to be when we got them, 26% of the amount of the solar panels, what they cost, to them, they will re-amortize, change your payment and change your interest rate. You can keep that money if you want, but you have to pay extra interest over the life of your solar panel loan. However, if you do pay that amount, you keep your same payments, you keep your same interest rate, which ours is extremely low, 1.99%. And so I was going to go ahead and pay the 26%. Now, fun fact, after we had already agreed to this, they upped the solar panel tax credit to 30% of whatever you paid. So we'll get to keep that extra 4% and not have to pay it to anybody, but I'll probably put it towards that anyway, if we're being honest, because I'd like to get rid of that. However, they cannot pay you more in a tax refund than what you paid to them in a given year. And I only paid around $9,000. 9000 and some change, maybe like 9600 maybe. So I got that full amount back in my tax refund. Yay! However, the amount for the 26% was 12,000. So as you can see, 2,900 had to come out of my emergency fund to cover that extra. 
I will get this paid back next year to me and it can go back in the emergency fund. But until then, this is the number that we are left with. And I'm very sad about it. But my 80 envelope challenge is filling up fast and we'll be back up to this number in no time. So don't fret. Then, also of note on here, our remodel is approaching where it was before. It was at 1000 um, 98 before we used some of that money so that's going back up yay and yeah I think that's really everything of note on here also the mortgage fund ginormous now $255 after I stuff it in this video and after I do my bill exchange at the end of March I'll be taking this money out and go in it and go and pay the mortgage company this extra principal prepayment and it, it is the end of the first quarter of 2023 Whoop. so I can update you guys on where we're at on paying off our mortgage Woo. okay there's that okay then with our spreadsheet I'll just kind of put it to the side over here off frame not done with this coffee haul Okay, let us start with our high priority sinking funds. New car. I think I found the car that I really liked for our next car, but it's it's in the future, y'all. It's in the future. I don't even have enough for a down payment right now. And my car, I think, is currently only worth like $7,000 because it's so old and kind of kind of worse for the wear. It has 91,000 miles on it, but I really liked, tell me if any of you have this car, the Hyundai, Hyundai, Tucson Hybrid. There's a 2022 and a 2023 model of the Hybrid, which I really liked. So yeah, tell me if y'all have that car, I'd love to know. The new car fund is getting $45. My voice is kind of quiet today because I'm just really tired. I just did not sleep well last night and uh, it's just been so stressful at work this week. Um, some people were out on vacation for spring break and we didn't have any coverage. So yeah, stressful. Oh, you know what? Let's get our start quick. Okay, now we can count it up. So in the new car fund, after adding up $45, we have 500, 600, 700 in the bank in a high yield savings account. We have 720, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 777 dollars. Where's my pen? There it is. And today, oh my gosh, I, I forgot my watch. Well, today's the 18th because it's the day after St. Patrick's Day. And we can't color in one of these guys until we get um, almost $1,400. So we, we're a little ways away. Orlando Trip Fund, also getting 45 super excited about this one I really need to do a bill exchange on this one <laughs> okay we have 100 200 300 400 in the bank then we have for 20 40 60 80 500 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, $551 in the Orlando Trip Fund. Woo woo! I've been stuffing this with a lot more, I guess, gusto. Because I really want to go on this trip by the end of the year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. I 
have a colorable for this, but um, I it's every $240, so until we reach, I think it's $720, I can't color anything in on that, so we have a little ways to go on that colorable. Also, I like the colorables, though. They just help me, I don't know, be more motivated on the pro... And it's a visual of the progress that we're making. I know we can color some of these, so that's exciting. Okay, my certification exam is getting 25. Because work's been busy, I typically don't study at home. I just study when I have free time at work. Um, because I'm not going to give up my free time for work. And... <laughs> Been so busy so I haven't been studying at all so this is I'm gonna have this before I have my knowledge so now after adding 25 we have 100 120 140 150 55 160 okay cat calculator come help us out well bud all right we have $160 divided by each of the sons are 17 Nine suns should be colored. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to color two more. Okay, my yellow marker. Hey, we're almost done with the full ro first row. So almost a third of the way there on this one. Which is awesome because we are about a fourth of the way through the year. So we are right on track. In fact, a little bit ahead of schedule, I would say. Because most of these funds I wanted to finish by the end of the year in this binder. <coughs> My model, getting $45. We have not been coloring until I replace everything that I took out. Now we have 500, 600, 700, 800 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 900, that's exciting, 901, 2, 3, 4, and 5, yep, 905 dollars, exciting. And we're trying to get it back up to where we started in January at 1,079. And then continue to grow it. My goal was around $3,000 ish. I keep hearing some weird noises outside. The wind's blowing something around. Okay, now the Christmas fund. Probably my favorite fund. I don't know, maybe not my favorite, but it's fun to think about. It makes me happy. It's getting 75, 50, 70, and 5. And the reason why it gets this much is because that is the amount that I calculated that if I do this every single time, <clears throat> we will have this money saved up by October so I can do Christmas shopping. Sometimes if I have a lot of cash, I'll give it a little extra. So we can get ahead and do this even faster. But now, after adding 75, we have 100, 200, 300 in the bank, 50, 400, 420, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 475 dollars, yay. On this goal, I think 1500, yeah, 1500 was my goal for this. Because last year I just did a thousand and it, it's just a little, um, maybe restrictive. I don't know if that's the right word, but I just felt like it wasn't as fun as it could be on my gift giving. Everything's also way more expensive now. Okay, so $38, 475 divided by 38 for each tree. We should have 12 trees colored. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Green marker. Okay, we're almost a third of the way done with this as well. So it was super warm here for a little bit, like in the 60s and 70s, and then now this weekend, winter decided to make one final return, and it's like 40s, 30s, maybe 50s, so that's kind of lame. Alright, the mortgage fund! Extra principal prepayment on my mortgage, getting $60 today. Let's see what we've got. 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 250, 255. Woohoo! That's so exciting. And this money, when I do my bill exchange, is going to the bank to pay that so I can update y'all on what we have paid off in this first quarter. And then last in this binder is the veterinary fund, yay! <clears throat> to cover my cat's uh, yearly shots in the summer. It's getting weird, I wonder what that rattling is. Anyways, here's 10. So 100, 200, 100, 110, 120, 130. And for this, I have been using my Magical Mayhem uh, challenge with Larry from Hands and Bands. And we need a purple one today. Oh, look. We have a purple 10, and that's what we added. We're almost done with this challenge because some of these are ones. So it looks like by the end of April we should finish this. That's very exciting because I don't need this until June. And then this envelope will be fully funded until the next year. Now, if they have a veterinary emergency, I'm treating it as going for my emergency fund. This is for planned expenses, my sinking funds are. Okay, there's that binder. And let's go on to our next binder. Investment property is getting forty dollars. That means now we have one hundred, two hundred in the bank. 220, 240, 245, 250. Oh, that does not need a pen. This one's also in a high yield savings account. I'm excited to see what we end up with for interest this month after I have added the extra hundred. Oops. And the 700 from the car to that account at the beginning of this month. Okay, so everything else in this uh, binder is getting five dollars except for clothing, which is getting 30. So furniture getting five, so that means we now have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then our home security gets five. Fifty. Fifty-five, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three. And the washer dryer fund gets five.
Now we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96. I have a colorable for the washer dryer fund, but I'll get in there and smudge it. No, I didn't. Yay! <clears throat> we can't color this in until we have one hundred and thirty-four dollars, and we're, we're close, ninety-six, but not quite. The electronics fund. I recently had to take all the money out of here to get a Keurig because my Keurig died. So sad. But today we're adding five back in, so now we have five and ten. Next is the RV fund, getting five. Twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, and forty-one dollars in that fund. That's kind of fun that it's filling up a little bit. The electric bikes, five dollars today. Now we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 41. Then the clothing fund. Okay, so clothing's getting $30 because of this little um, Jordan Budgets savings challenge that I'm doing for this. 20 and 30. I'm just going in filling one bubble each time. And now that puts us at 50, 70, oh, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 141. And let me get my little orange marker and color in this 30 bubble. And then probably next time I'll go for the 20. Thank you. Okay. And last but not least, here in the back we have the tires fund. Just getting five dollars. Whoops, <laughs> maybe. And now in this one, we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 41 dollars. One of my co workers this week had a flat that added to the craziness because this was not one of the ones that were on vacation, <laughs> but um, they didn't have their jack, had to have someone bring their jack to them. And then once I got the spare on, they started driving and the spare popped and went flat. <laughs> terrible, terrible story. I felt so bad for them. And I had to go get new tires and it was very expensive. So it made me happy that I have this fund and think maybe I should more aggressively stuff this because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking after I finish this little dude for the clothing fund, I'll put it towards the tires. But I think a new set of my tires is only like, when I got them, was only like 800, so it might be 1,000 now. But 800 was my goal for that fund. Okay, you guys, that's all my sinking funds fully stuff today. If you stuck it all the way out to the end of this video, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate your support. I just want to say we are so close to 500. We are at 489 subscribers. Yay! And I will be talking about the prizes for my 500 subscriber giveaway soon. I have all of the ones that I need to buy. There are some that I need to print, hint, hint. But I currently have three prizes and I'm thinking about what to do for my fourth prize still. So I hope everyone had a great St. Patrick's Day and that everyone has a great weekend. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye.